Hey guys, so I recently finished A Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. Uh, this is the Minna Lima edition and is from the HarperCollins Classics. Uh, I already made an, um, a video about this book, so I'm not going into that, but I am starting on The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. I already, um, you know, by the time I uploaded this video and everything, I am already currently up on chapter 11. Um, but I wanted to open this book like on video so that you guys could see how it looks like brand new and everything uh, like I do with the, my previous Minalima books. So all the Minalima books have like this weird leaflet in the back, which looks like half of a dust jacket. I don't know why they just didn't make a complete dust jacket instead of just inserting a little leaflet in the back. <laughs> but um, anyway, okay, so between the two books, um, there are eight HarperCollins classic of the Minalima edition. So between the two books that I've read so far, um, I'm still currently reading The Wizard of Oz, but so far I already like it so much better. Um, than The Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales. Because in The Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales, I felt like they didn't put much thought into the illustrations or the designs, that they just kind of did whatever just to finish it. But um, with The Wizard of Oz, I felt like all of their illustrations and design were more carefully thought out. It went more uh, with the narrative and you know, whereas in The Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales, some of their illustrations and designs, I was just like, okay, this really doesn't make sense. <laughs> or I felt like, you know, they could have done something better. I didn't really feel that way uh, with The Wizard of Oz. Um, and by the way, I've never read The Wizard of Oz. I've only, um, so what I know about the story is from what I've seen in the 1939 movie, which is one of my favorite movies um, as a child and even as an adult. I love Technicolor. I wish they still made movies in Technicolor. I'm pretty sure Kodak bought them out, but I don't know, like didn't Kodak go out of business or something? I, I'm not really up uh, with, with all that <laughs> stuff, but I do know that like it's way too expensive for um, Technicolor uh, to be still used by studio production, so they no longer use them. I think there's only, like, um, one studio left that does Technicolor in, like, France or something. But anyway, uh, back to the book itself. The book is a little bit different from the movie, uh, whereas I do love the movie, and it tells a great uh, story about it. Uh, there are, like, significant differences. So I do highly recommend the book. It is the first time I've ever read the book. Um, you know, of course, I've read, like, little short adaptations of The Wizard of Oz as a kid, but um, not the actual book itself. So this is um, another uh, edition, Beauty and the Beast of the Minalima edition. So altogether, HarperCollins has uh, eight books in their Minalima Classic Edition. Peter Pan is another one. Um, Peter Pan, this one is also, um, you know, something where I don't know too much about the story and I've just read it, or not read it, i just seen the Disney version of it. I've never read the book. And The Jungle Book, that's another one. Um, you know, I just know it from the Disney movie, never read the actual book. Pinocchio, same thing. And um, next one is Alice in Wonderland, if I could find it somewhere. Here. Oh, no, it's The Secret Garden. Okay, so The Secret Garden, I actually have read this book. I read this book as a child, but I don't remember it. I was like, I think 10 years old, 11 years old when I read it. So I actually forgot all about the book. And here's Alice in Wonderland. So altogether, there is eight classic um, books from the HarperCollins Minna Lima edition. And um, besides from their partnership with HarperCollins, they also have a partnership with Scholastic for the Harry Potter books. But so far, they've only um, released two books. They released the first one and the second one. So the first one is um, The Sorcerer's Stone, and the second one is uh, The Chamber of Secrets, which was released on October 26th. Um, of course, you know, 
they're going to release the whole series, but so far there's only two books. I think the next book is probably coming out next year because um, the first book was released in 2020. The second book was released in, you know, October just recently. So I'm pretty sure that uh, book three will be released next year and so forth. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome addition.